Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it with K. Luke Whiskey Batch Number Six. Yes, K. Luke Batch Number Six. But before we dive into K. Luke's, real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to my newest patron, my good friend Christopher B. So, Christopher, thanks so much for becoming a, a patron supporting the Bourbon Judge, as well as I should say thank you for all my patrons as well. Each and every one of you guys all help, guys and ladies all help for all this to come to fruition. So, thank you very much. And uh, Christopher, as we always say. Welcome to the Judge family. All right, so when you think about K. Luke, let's go back a little bit. Um, about a month and a half, almost two months ago, I had um, one of my patrons over, my good friend Gene, and uh, we were sipping whiskey, and he brought me batch three, four, and five. Went through those, and I was like, wow, this is great. I even actually featured K. Luke as um, an up-and-coming whiskey brand. So I did an episode not too long ago called like the top 10 whiskey brands to watch for in the rest of 2023 and 2024. And K. Luke actually made that list. I was very impressed. So, you know, fast forward, right? Been meaning to buy a bottle, but I forgot uh, until my buddy Lance, one of my other patrons was like, Judge, have you tried K. Luke Batch 6? He's like, I think you're going to like it even better than 3 through 5. I'm like... I don't know. I'm not sure, Lance, but Lance was super cool. So thanks again, Lance, for uh, sending me uh, this K. Luke Batch 6. I went ahead and poured it a little bit. But uh, what do we know about K. Luke as a whole? So essentially, K. Luke was started by a husband and wife combination. It was Jennifer and John Mizano. So Jennifer and John Mizano, they've owned liquor stores for, for quite some time. Um, and so they've been buying barrels like barrels of whiskey and rye for, for many years. But like many of us, they made their dream come true. They actually started their own whiskey brand, which I fully respect. Now, one thing I will say is that John is primarily like the one who is, he's truly like the, essentially like he's done a lot of education, like many of us. So he truly is a whiskey sommelier. And when you think about K. Luke as a whole, K. Luke from a brand standpoint, yes, of course, they are sourcing their whiskey and they put out some single barrels, but they're really known not so much for their single barrels. They're really known for their blended whiskeys. They have blended rye, blended bourbons, which is this one here, batch six, blended bourbons. They have blended, uh, they actually have even a finished whiskey. Um, they've done some toasting as well, um, but most people really know them for their, I think for the most part, for their blended bourbons. And I think a lot of it for the most part, it's because John is so-called a whiskey sommelier. So let's go ahead and dive into this and let's see what we're working with for batch six. All right, dive into this real quick. So I will say from a price standpoint, batch six, along with the majority of the K. Luke uh, whiskey products are about 110 bucks for the most part online. Obviously, if you're in a store, it might be a couple of dollars less, a couple of dollars more, just kind of depend on the states that you're in. From a state standpoint though, and availability wise, so K. Luke as of today, they're available in five states. They're available in Louisiana. Mm, this is nice though. <laughs> Goodness gracious, John. Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, of course, and Wyoming. But most people, if you're not in one of those five states, most people just end up going directly to Sealbox because they do have a really good partnership with Sealbox. So they end up going to Sealbox and grabbing a bottle from there, which is makes it that much easier. No honey required at all. So batch six comes in at 119.8 proof. Again, this is a barrel proof, but it's a blended small batch. So it's a blended batch um, coming in 119.8 proof. $110 from a price standpoint. So right there about a buck 10. Mm. This nose, John, goodness. All right, that nose is pretty darn special. Goodness gracious. Mm. So what am I getting on this nose? Oh man. This has almost like a um almost like a like a a, a honey meets caramel meets almost like a toasted kind of a oak kind of a note. Mm. Really nice. Very uh, honey forward, tons of caramel. Almost like a toasted oak, very sweet. Mmm, not not a ton of, I mean, there's a little bit of spice like from a pepper note in the background, but not a ton of pepper, at least in the nose. A lot more honey, a lot more caramel, the, the toasted uh, oak kind of a note. Mmm, this nose is really nice. 
and maybe in the far background, I mean far, a smidge, and I mean just a smidge of like leather. Just a little bit though, not a ton. All right, more sweet than it is spicy on the nose for batch six. So the question for this, so again, we know when you think of K-Luke, you're thinking of a brand that is known for not only just sourcing their whiskey, but blending and creating fantastic batches. The question is, is batch six good? Is it great? Or is it just so-so? We shall see. Oh man. I wish the only thing we don't have on this though is an age statement. So we don't have an age statement. Um, that's the only downfall. We don't know the exact age. Oh, but we do know they are blending whiskey and sourcing their, their whiskey from Kentucky and Indiana. So two different places. All right, enough with the nose. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on K Luke as a brand itself, as well as uh, in particular, batch number six. And last but not least, please make sure you all subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get a notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Woo! Mmm. Wow. That is, that's way more spicy on the palate and the finish than it was, it was in the nose. Okay. <laughs> that is interesting. Wow. Very interesting to say the least. Oh man. Let me get a little bit more. Wow. That was way more powerful. I mean, I know that from a proof standpoint, it's 119.8, but in the nose, it was very sweet and like, just very like, kind of like, just like, it like brings you in a lot in the palette and the finish. That is, wow, that is bold. Oh my gosh. Mm, let me get a little bit more. Oh man. Whew. That's unique. Very different. Very, very different. That's not like when you think of source whiskey, most people think of just traditional MGP whiskey as a whole, which nine out of 10 times is not always blended. For the most part, people are just picking barrels, throwing their label on there. In this case, it's a blended whiskey. It's very unique. It's a good blend, I would say, from the nose not matching the palate. So this is actually the opposite. It's not the nose matching the palate, all the sweetness in the nose was definitely still there, like the honey, the uh, the caramel, almost like the toasted kind of oak note. But the palate, this is at 119.8 proof. You felt in the palate the full 119.8. Very bold, very robust, but also very spicy in the palate too. So it's a good blend of like spice, like the, those pepper notes that were in the nose, they were very subtle in the nose. But in the palate and the finish, they came through like, I mean, like nobody's business. Like, hey, judge, we're here. <laughs> we showed up. That is very spicy, very peppery, um, but it's also sweet at the same time. Very interesting, and I like this one. So the question is, judge, I know you like it, but is it worth $110? Let me get one more sip just to make sure. Woo! The verdict is in. Lance, you were right. And by the way, thank you for this sample. This is absolutely a buy and worth the price. Folks, this is really good whiskey, honestly. Um, so, so John, I got to give you credit. John, the owner, him and his wife, Jennifer. I have to give you credit. This is flat out amazing in my opinion. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's obviously now a bottle that I have to buy. <laughs> so what I need to add to my own collection. And I actually do think it's better than batch three through five personally. I remember those and I like those a lot. Batch six to me, it's more of a well-rounded experience and it's somewhat different than what's out there on the market this day and age. Primarily because I would assume John blended some fantastic barrels together. So if you have not tried batch six, if you can't find it yourself, folks, obviously you can go online. Of course, you know, most really good high-end uh, whiskey bars should carry some K-Luke products. Definitely check this out because 
Well, I'm pouring more. That said, that says enough. <laughs> Until the next time, my friends. Peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Here's the K. Luke batch number six. Uh oh. Damn, that is good. Peace.